We compete in NASA Student Launch, which is an eight-month design, manufacturer, test, competition. And they usually say, oh, so it's just a club. It's just like something you kind of do whenever. I know when I joined the team last year, it's kind of what I thought it was, but then it quickly took over my whole life. And I think when you say that, people freak out, but once you actually join the team, you understand the scope of what needs to be done, and you understand why it's such a big deal and why we care so much about it. I think that NASA's requirements to do such heavy documentation and to like do it the way that they do it sets student launch apart. You learn a lot more when you do the documentation because it makes you think about the systems in a different way than you wouldn't have considered. People usually don't really understand how many hours went into it and, and how many people have touched it. NASA puts a lot of effort into enforcing the same engineering guidelines and procedures that they use in the real world. And I think that's what really elevates this project from just a fun hobby type project to a much more intense collaborative engineering project. I think rocketry in general kind of shows you what you're made of because failures can happen in really destructive ways and we've actually had a rocket explode on us right before competition. Oh no! That's not good. Oh geez. At that point, it really felt like our season was over. Failures are always something that you brace for, but I don't think any of us could have really guessed that that day would end with us struggling to identify rocket parts scattered around the launch field. But when you're invested in a project like that, you just refuse to give up. Managing to rebuild in what little time we had left was a victory in itself, but to later find out that we had actually won the entire competition for the first time was a surreal experience that I think we're all going to carry with us long after graduation. Launch day is you wake up at 4 or 5 a.m. in the morning. From then on, it's go time. you got to work making sure that your system is going to operate perfectly. Everyone's just kind of nervously standing next to each other wondering, should I have double-checked that? Should I have triple-checked it? You put the rocket on the pad and you have a jillion thoughts flying through your head. You're worrying about a million different things that have gone wrong over the last few test launches and you're just hoping that you fixed all of them. You hear the countdown and they get to one, you see them press the button, and nobody is making a sound. When that motor goes off, it kind of all blurs together as one system. You sort of forget, you know, I'm the air brakes lead or I'm this lead. You sort of think that's our rocket. It's just 90 seconds in which everything you've worked countless months and hours for is finally culminating with all the documentation and the complexity of the payloads and everything else we have every year. Um, it really requires a whole team of people to design something special.